I mentioned sure. Herschel Walker this morning, another allegation against the Georgia Republican Senate candidate. The woman who told the Daily Beast earlier this week that Walker paid for her to have an abortion in 2009 now says she also had a child with him. If true, that claim would undercut Walker's defense that he did not know the woman who claimed to be an ex-girlfriend. The Daily Beast article states this, quote, when the woman first told the Daily Beast her story, we agreed not to reveal certain details about her identity over her concerns for safety and privacy. But then Walker categorically denied the story and said he did not know who was making this allegation. The report goes on to state, quote, the woman, a registered Democrat whose years long relationship with Walker continued after the abortion, told the Daily Beast her chief concern with revealing her name was because she is the mother of one of Walker's own God. children, and she wanted to protect her family's privacy as best she could while also coming forward with the truth. The article goes on, Walker has publicly acknowledged the child as his own, and the woman proved she is the child's mother and provided credible evidence of a long-term relationship with Walker. Walker responded to the new report last night, providing NBC News with this statement, quote, as I've already said, there's no truth to this or any other Daily Beast report. Walker had already denied the allegation he paid for an abortion, calling it a, quote, flat-out lie. He's threatened a lawsuit against the Daily Beast, but has yet to file one. It's important to note NBC News has not confirmed the Daily Beast reporting on this. So yeah. <clears throat> the question is, how do Republicans respond to this? His campaign has raised more than half a million dollars since his Monday appearance on Fox News, during which he denied claims he paid for a girlfriend's abortion back in 2009. And since the Daily Beast publication of the story, we continue to see Republicans rallying behind Walker. Here's Ted Cruz. Herschel Walker is going to win that race. Uh, Georgia is, is a red state. It's going to be represented by a Republican. Listen, I get it's real nasty. I believe Herschel Walker is going to be the next senator. I'm proud to support Herschel but his Walker. Own Senator Lindsey Graham also came out in support of Walker while slamming the media for attacking Republicans. And Senator Rick Scott, the head of the Republican Senate Campaign Committee, made similar comments. Joe, uh, I'm not, and it's not even the claims of the abortion, which I think, you know, at this point we have reports, he's denying them. That's where that stands. But the more information that comes about out about things like this with Herschel Walker is they turn out to be true. It turns out he has more children than he claims to have. It turns out, you know, he didn't manage hospitals, he donated. You know, there's all sorts of twists and turns to his claims about himself, and Republicans just stick with him. I, I don't get it. Michael, still, this is a new phenomenon. I mean, uh, you, you ran the Republican Party. You, you, if you had a candidate who lied about his educational degree, lied about being in the FBI, would well, that be enough right there? It, it, like pre-Trump, that would have finished a candidate right there. But then uh, stories about how he put a gun to his ex-wife's head, lied uh, about uh, the children he had, uh, has four children out of wedlock that his son says didn't raise a single one. This report comes up. Republicans are still backing him. Uh, this report comes up, and uh, they're still supporting him. And now a follow-up uh, where Herschel Walker said, you didn't know this woman, I didn't know anything about this, it wasn't true. And now we're finding out, uh, according to the latest report, uh, that, and my gosh, I would based on the past, I, I would guess this report is accurate. Uh, there's a good chance, better than good chance that it's accurate, that actually she has one of his children that he's not raising. And Republicans are still coming out saying that they're supporting him. I Again, I, I just, is there nobody in any of these members' offices saying, hey, boss, maybe you should back off a little bit here? Just just let let it stay its course because oh, no. there's no reason why these people should be supporting a guy this this terribly flawed. They're supporting him because the voters in Georgia don't care. They're not getting phone calls from from uh, people in Georgia or anywhere else screaming uh, to back away from Walker. So they lean in. Look, this whole family values ruse of the GOP has been busted. They've cold busted it. Democrats didn't expose it. They didn't expose the family values lie.
right? Republicans expose their own lie. You know, for, for 25, 30, 40 years, they've been telling people how to live, who to love, what to believe, when they themselves weren't applying those standards to themselves. And now that's exposed. And they don't care, because the only thing that matters is that Republicans hold that joint, get that Georgia seat. This is about power politics. Yeah. They know they're going to have a sycophant in Walker who's going to come to the Senate and do whatever he's told to do, <clears throat> period. That's the only thing that matters. He's a vote on the board, and he's one more step to taking absolute control of the government. That's the game. Wonderful. And so it doesn't matter. You can have a picture of, of Herschel Walker, you know, engaged in all kinds of crazy stuff. You can have more women come out. You can have men come out. It don't matter at this point. They don't care. There's no value here for them other than the owning of Democrats getting this particular seat. So until their voters are expressing concern and uh, a lack of interest in the campaign because of these types of issues, they're going to lean in. Ted Cruz, yeah. oh, I'm going to lean in. That's my guy. Yes, he's got how many kids? I don't know. I don't care. But it's a vote in the Senate. So, you know? Michael Steele, to build on your... 